good. That's a bass, that's a freaking giant. I think it is. Go. Well, that's a, I'm changing my mind. I'm gonna say redfish. Okay, redfish. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not too bad for the first one. There we go. Go back home to your mama. We go off for a ride, folks. Get him close to the boat and he catches his fifth or sixth wind. That's one thing I love about redfish, they do not quit. Easy release. I'll take that any day. Got a large mouth. Decent sized marsh fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Golly. I think I got a giant redfish. I don't think this redfish is going to fit in the net. No, he's not going to fit. That rattle trap is way down his throat. Holy cow. Uh, uh, get out of that motor. This way. Alright, we'll turn around this way. Good night. I don't know if that's my line freight or it's just grass. I think it's just grass. 
but he's just about done. Your head. <laughs> he don't even fit in the net on their deep hook like this with a treble hook bait you got to be really careful when you grab them you don't want to get a mouth full of hooks that bill lewis trap is way down his throat but i've got the tools i can get him safely unhooked and get him back in the water Alright, I safely got him unhooked. No blood. If you just take your time, you can unhook them good and let this big fella go. Alright, so let's talk about how I'm fishing. So I'm fishing a marsh ditch, and on each side you can see grass. This ditch is not very wide, but it's about four foot deep. And all I'm doing, throw it in the middle, just like this. What redfish do is they're constantly on the go, whether it's in here, out in the main bay, or the ocean. Every time I've seen a redfish in the wild, it's always swimming. So that tells me there are fish that just are always on the go. They don't stop. And by presenting this bait in the very center of this little ditch, the fish that are cruising on each side of these grass lines, one, he's gonna hear this rattle trap coming through the water, and two, it's a very easy meal for him to get. So, just take this tip and apply it. If you get in the same situation, it should work really good for you, and it always works good for me. I mean, if I'm not catching anything, I can come to a ditch like this, and I will catch something, whether it be redfish, bass. There's a lot of bass up in this marsh I'm fishing, too. But the whole secret is just chunking wide and fish fast. Don't wait on them. I'll fish this ditch one time, then I'll motor up and I'll go to another one. species wrong size. Grow up.
old last mile of water. There's some shad back here and they keep eating the shad. Alright, so let me give you the scenario. What's happening is behind that grass right there, there's either a pond or some kind of a marsh drain. And it's real muddy where I'm positioned at, but right up there, the water's flowing out a little bit. And there's probably 10 million shad. I can see them. They're all about that big. But these bass, they're just crushing them. y'all seen that one. That was a good one. He's ate so many little sheds. They just keep blowing up on them. 